In a previous video, we started creating our form wrapper component. Components template contains the main form tag, and inside of this form tag, we have a slot. Slot acts as a placeholder for whatever we want to put in between the opening and closing tag of our component. In this case, we have this div, and by using slot scope, we can now access all of these properties which we associated with the slot by using this props keyword. In other words, if we want access to group, we can use props group and this will give us the value associated with this group property let's now open our index.blade.php and in between the opening and closing div tag with this attribute slot scope let's create a field set with the class field set now inside of this tag let's put a legend which will say personal details for instance and here I'm going to start with div with a class grid x I'm using a uh, zero foundation xy grid if you are using any other framework or any other styling feel free to replace it with whatever uh, you have I'm going to use to use grid margin x and then div with a class cell on small devices I want this div to be all 12 columns on medium and up I want it to go half so medium 6 and here I'm going to start with the standard input tag so input we will use the type text we are going to give it a name of first name ID of first name as well and let's associate V model of props fields and first name and let's close it for now by using this v model attribute we will be able to synchronize value typed into this input with our form wrapper at the moment as you can see our fields property is just an empty object so if we preview it in a browser we should see an empty object until we actually start typing into this input field so here is our new input field which we've just added our form wrapper you can see fields data property is at the moment empty but the moment we start typing you can see this has added this first name to this fields object if we remove everything it will stay there as an empty valued uh, property but it will not be there when we first load the page as you can see fields is still empty so that's one of the issues using the standard input tag now if i would like to have some value associated with this input when the page first loads so let's use value equals sebastian for instance and if we preview it in the browser if i reload the page you'll see first of all we don't see anything in this input then our fields is still empty and regardless of the fact that we actually specify the value attribute this value is nowhere to be seen just to ensure that we actually don't have anything within these fields and it's not just a view console let's go to the console as you can see our form wrapper is represented by this dollar sign vm0 so if we type in dollar sign vm0 and then if we go full stop fields and let's search for this uh, first name if we hit return you can see it's undefined so it really isn't there until we start typing as you can see this is when this property is being added to this fields object so these two are only a few of the problems with the standard input tags when dealing with view components in the next video we will start looking into building our own custom text input component